Hello everybody, and welcome back to Pokemon Leaf Green Nuzlocke. So, this is our current team here. Um, we still have a few newish additions. Uh, Fred and Steady and Jolty. Jolty's up there in the levels now. Steady and Fred are making some headway. Um, still have a long way to go though. So I wanted to check out the Pokemon Mansion because I felt like maybe the tea was in here. So let's just go ahead and find out. You shouldn't spend all your money on drinks. Try this instead. There you go. Obtain the tea. Look at that. Immediately. Alright, let's... We'll bring that to the Saffron Guard, and then we can go to Saffron. Um, is there anything else we need to do? Hmm, I don't think so. I'm trying to think if there's like any TMs or anything we can get in this town. But I don't think that there is. Oh, that tea, it looks awfully tasty. Huh? I can have this drink? Gee, thanks. Glug, glug. Oh, if you want to go to Saffron City, you can go through. I'll share this tea with the other guards. You know, I really wonder why they changed that from the original. Like, it just seems like such a weird change. Like, why even bother? So I can't really go in any of these places. Um, but I can go back to Lieutenant Search, which is what we want to do. So this is like the fighting mini gym I was talking about where we can get Hitmonlee. I don't think we would be able to defeat them yet. At least it would be a very hard battle. I'm not going to do that yet. Um, this is the Pokemon Trainer Fan Club. Sounds like we could maybe get something in here. So, oh, these guys are fans of Pokemon Trainers? <laughs> So there's the Pokemon fan club, and this is the Pokemon Trainer fan club. Wow. I've never seen this. I don't usually go in all the houses and stuff in this game. I know it's technically an RPG, but the dialogue and um, story are pretty, like... Um, like, just pretty, like, nothing. They're just kind of boring. So I've never really given them too much attention. Oh, this guy gives us Psychic. This guy's the real MVP. Do we want to use that? I could give that to Elephant. Um, to learn it naturally. But it'll be... I think he learns it at 33. I mean, he's the only one who can learn it. So we might as well just teach it to him. It's just going to suck if he dies and then we want to use another Psychic type, but whatever. Yeah. Let's do it. If I want to teach him Dream Eater, that means I'm going to have to get rid of um, Headbutt, unfortunately. Which I don't want to do, but I can't get rid of Flash. Unless we find the move deleter. Um, let's take a look at our map. So Saffron kind of connects a bunch of these areas. So you can see we're right in the middle now. We can go to Cerulean. We can go to Lavender. And we can go to Vermilion. So we're going to head down to Vermilion now. And finally take on the third gym. And that'll give us Fly. Let me just check if there's any other houses we can go in at all. Just the Pokemon Center. Um, some trainer tips. So yeah, we can't really do anything here yet. Can't even fight Sabrina. But we can go down here, back to Vermilion. Um, I think we're gonna... Well, I can lead with, um, Vulpix Steady, because he has Dig. But primarily, we're going to want to use Jolty on here, I think, because he knows Dig and he's going to resist them. We still haven't even beaten these trainers yet, though. I never came in here at all. Sailor Dwayne. So we're about the same level. Aw, oh, man. It's crazy that, like, after... 
<laughs> We've gone through all these places. We're still at the same level as these trainers. It really goes to show, like, when you switch up your party a lot, you really don't get over-leveled. Like, people like to complain about with these games. Alright, another Pikachu. Um, I'll probably just switch out just to be safe. Yeah, because I don't want to get paralyzed and then maybe also miss because it's using double team. So after this gym, we'll have a nice move for Jolty, um, Shockwave. Not the best electric type move, but the best we're going to have for a while. We're not going to get... Thun Thunderbolt's the best one by far. Um, but we're not going to get Thunderbolt until unless we have a lot of money to buy it from the game corner. Jolteon does learn some other nice moves, though, that give him some nice type coverage, like Double Kick. It's not the best move, but it gives him nice type coverage. Um, like, you can use that against Rock types. Um, he also learned Pin Missile, which is really nice, because it's one of the only things um, that's super effective against Psychic types. I probably should have switched him, or not switched him, but here just paralysis because that's like um it's especially bad for dig because it has two chances to paralyze you i believe anyway he's not really doing any damage at least that could do a little yeah there you go i'll try one more and then if this doesn't work then i'm gonna switch him out Oh, come on. Alright, let's switch him. Switch out to Jolty here. I could probably just take him out with a quick attack. Yeah. Aw, oh, Magnemite. Time for my revenge. These Magnemites, man. And now we have three Pokemon that can one-shot them. At least. I feel like we're not really going to have too much trouble anymore now that we have a full good team. Until... Um the Elite Four. The Elite Four will be hard. Um, you know, as it should be. Other than that, I don't feel like we're gonna have too many issues. Maybe Victory Road, depending on what level we are by the time we get there. But if we make sure to fight every trainer, like even all the water route trainers and stuff, it should be fine. A lot of that, like with the water route trainers, where it's just a bunch of battles, I might just do that off camera. Since it'll just be, it would be probably like two or three episodes of just battles. I mean, maybe that would, maybe that would be something good to be on camera if I'm like, it depends on if they're all blowouts or not. Because if they're all blowouts, it's probably not too interesting. Probably use a quick attack to finish him off. Yeah. Alright, so I'm not even gonna bother leading off with him. Um, I'm just gonna let Jolty do all the work. But first, we have to solve this puzzle. We have to find the two switches. first one is random, and then the second one is in one of the ones next to it. Um, so it's a little less random, but still pretty random. It's 
gonna be like the last one we check, huh? So now we have like a few choices. Nope. And then they're gonna be randomized again. <clears throat> this honestly is kind of a dumb puzzle. Some Pokemon gyms have good puzzles, but this one's pretty dumb. Whoops. I didn't mean to do that. Because this one's just walking around and touching the trash cans randomly. And there's not really actually any strategy to it. Unless I'm just like very misinformed about this gym. But as far as I know, the first one is always random and the second one is randomly next to it. So... go. Uh, let's try this one. There we go. All right, here's Lieutenant Surge. Remember during the anime when Pikachu beat Raichu somehow? It's not as crazy as Pikachu beating Onyx. This should be a piece of cake for Jolty. The only thing that might be a little hard is his Raichu. Nice. And this should get us a couple of levels too, so that'll be nice. Oh, does he not even have Raichu? I don't know if he would have Pikachu and Raichu. I don't think, like in red and blue, I don't know if he had Raichu. I know he did in yellow. Yellow followed the anime more, so in yellow he only had a level 28 Raichu, I believe. And that was it. Which is like how it was in the anime. He just had one strong Raichu. Alright, he does. So this is probably his team from red and blue. Man, the quality jump from red and blue to yellow was crazy. Like, just in the artwork alone, yellow looks so much better than red and blue does. And the fact that it had support for color, it was huge. I don't like get really unlucky and get paralyzed a bunch of times this should be pretty much done come on I uh, know he's gonna double team if he was smart he would just spam double team and then I would never be able to hit him Yeah, there we go. All right, that's that. That was easy. Once you got the right Pokemon, it's easy. All right, so our next stop is gonna be the game corner. And we got Fly and we got Shockwave. Or we can use Fly now, rather. All right, let's go ahead and teach Shockwave to Jolty. Jolty is quickly like up there for our best party member. Um, yeah, we'll get rid of Helping Hand. One thing I'm gonna do because I'm a little paranoid because of doing this in the past, I'm gonna move that out of the first spot because I'm always worried about um, accidentally pressing A too fast and getting rid of the move. Do a save just in case. And then I want to fly back to Pewter to see if there's the Dream Eater guy. Um, and then after that, we can just go to um, Celadon. And we will go to the game corner. 
So you can see we can go to a lot of places now. It's pretty much everywhere except for Fuchsia and Cinnabar. Um, let's see. Pewter. That's what I said, yeah. Um, let me heal just to get rid of that paralysis on Jolty. I should probably bring Fred back up front. Whoops. That's not what I want to do. Alright. We'll get Fred back up front here. Um, once Fred and Steady both get... Oh, I want to go to Viridian, not Pewter. Once Fred and Steady both get stronger, the fourth gym is going to be a joke. Uh, but unfortunately, they're the two we need. Um, Elephant actually would be pretty decent there too. Yawn, I must have dozed off in the sun. I had this weird dream about a drowsy eating my dream. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna have to get rid of Headbutt, unfortunately. Because I have to have Hypnosis and I have to have Psychic. So headbutt's really my only option here, because um, I can't get rid of Flash. So it sucks, but that's what's got to happen. All right, so our team's coming along nicely. Um, so yeah, Celadon, is there anywhere else we should go to first? I don't think so. Oh, there's my dog barking. I don't know if it's going to come through anymore, though. Um, let's go... I think it's just Celadon. I don't think there's anywhere else to go. We could go fight our rival, but there's no rush because we can't go through the rest of the Pokemon Tower anyway until after the game corner, so we might as well just do that first. Um, so here's the game corner. I don't know who gives us the coin bag coin case. I do want to go grab it just so I can see how much um, Thunderbolt's going to be. I think it's in one of these houses down here. Or it's somebody in the game corner. No, I think it's like one of these guys. Yeah, there you go. This guy. Yep. Got the coin case. So now we can get coins for the game corner. So we can't actually get Pokemon from there, but we already got our Pokemon in Celadon. So that's not going to be an option for us, but we can take a look at the prizes just out of curiosity. So see, you can get Abra, Clefairy, Pinsir, Dratini, and Porygon. Um, all right, so this one is Thunderbolt, I think. It's 4,000 coins. This one's Ice Beam, I think, which is also 4,000 coins. Um, do we, we might need that. Actually, I think I would prioritize that over Thunderbolt because we're going to need an ice type move for sure. Um, and I don't think there's any way to get Blastoise 1 without this. So we definitely will need that at some point. And this is just some garbage. So 4,000 coins. Ideally, we'll get 8,000 coins throughout the game. Because... Um, I would like to get Ice Beam and Thunderbolt. Alright, so 500 coins is 10,000. So we would need to do that 8 times for the 4,000 coins. So it's going to be 80,000. And we need to do that twice. So maybe we'll start conserving our money a little bit now. We can also gamble, but... It's not a very efficient way of doing it. Eradicate. Probably take him, but just to be safe, let's get um, Brendan out here now that he knows Brick Break. So I'm 
finally have something that's um, effective against normal types. Finally have a fighting move. So we're going to be fighting a lot of poison types since this is all Team Rocket now. Um, which can be annoying, but it's not a very big area at least. And it's going to end with a fight against Giovanni, which we should be fine for. It could be a little challenging because I think he gets up to level 29. So there we go, we found their secret hideout. Like the casino doesn't know about this, they're just covering it up. Another Raticate. Um, again, I'm gonna switch out just to be safe here. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. The Hyper Fang could do a lot of damage to Fred. Why did I use Bite? I meant to use Brick Break. Gotta be careful. The last thing we need to be doing is losing Brendan here. Yeah, so as much as I want Thunderbolt, I'll definitely be prioritizing Brick Break. I mean, um, Ice Beam, because at least we have an Electric-type move. We don't have any Ice-type moves, and that's going to be critical for fighting Lance in the Elite Four, his Dragonite. It's not as critical in this game, because he only has one Dragonite in Gen 2. He has three, but it still is very hard to beat him without it. In the original game, I would always run out of room in my item bag at this point of the game. If I wasn't being careful anyway. Drowsy? Oh, we could probably take him. We know Drowsy has low defense. So Tri Attack has 80 power, but with our type advantage, because um, we're normal type, it goes up to 120 power. So it's pretty good. I don't know if Fred probably doesn't have the best attack right now, but I mean, that's still like, it's hard to beat that. Mod Chop, all right. That should be an easy one. Fly is a great move, um, it just is kind of annoying to use because it takes two turns, but it's a good move. It has really good accuracy, I think it's like 95, and it has decent power at like 70 or 75. Um, I say decent, but it's like really one of the best. So I think I'm underselling it. Oh yeah, I gotta go down, not up. Um, does anybody need anything? No. As long as I don't have to use Brendan, it should be fine. I think they speed up the animations on the tiles in this part, which is great because in the original game it is so slow. Nope. So how much PP does Tritech have? 10. That's not great. Um, it's not like a huge deal, but it's annoying because it probably we probably need to like go heal just to refill that if I want to keep using him. I could probably mix it up with fly a few times though. Ooh, glad that missed. Yeah, Fred is cruising along now. Now that he's got Tri-Attack, something actually useful. Whoops. I 
because I'm thinking after I'm done with this game, um, I'll probably jump right into Colosseum. Again, towards my journey for completing the Gen 3 National decks. I'm not going to do that game as a Nuzlocke. I've never played that game before, um, past like the first few levels, so that one's just going to be um, a regular playthrough. Same with Gale of Darkness. I usually play GameCube games on Dolphin, but, oh man, um, I want to play the Pokemon games on the original hardware because I'm going to bring all of these Pokemon up into Pokemon Home eventually, so I don't want there to be any risk of them being flagged as like hacked or anything like that. Um, I know that there's ways to do it off of Dolphin and get the Pokemon off the Dolphin, but I just... I want it to be like completely legitimate. So I am going to be playing them. Um, wow, that is way faster. Um, I'm going to be playing them on the original hardware. So they won't look as good as they could. They'll look as good as this game does, basically. Because I'll be using the um, same thing to record it. I might use component cables instead because that is a GameCube game, meaning I can play it on my Wii, which I have component cables for. Um, but I might just stick with this video because it's easier to play it on my GameCube than it is on the Wii. Let's see, how do I get over there? There we go. I think that's all of the items. So now we gotta go back around here. Um, and then I want to go down here, I think. Yeah, okay. So ultimately, I think I'm looking for the key card so I can use the elevator. Or the elevator key or whatever it's called. Yeah, so I wish I could do Colosseum in, like, upscaled HD like I do um, with the other game, games like Mario Baseball and Pikmin. But I want I would rather keep it on the original hardware, so it won't look quite as good, but that's okay. Alright, awesome. I recently got a 3DS emulator working on my computer, so I've been transferring my 3DS games onto my computer, um, which has been really fun. I got Ocarina of Time 3D working perfectly, so me and Rob on Mr. Game and Beard, we played Ocarina of Time four years ago, but we never finished it, so I think when we replay it, we'll probably play the 3DS version, because um, like we're planning to start it over, it'll probably be that version, since it's the best version. Hmm, let me just try attack. Oh, disable, I keep forgetting. Alright, cool. I'm gonna have to switch out for him. Yeah, I was thinking about doing my own Luigi's Mansion playthrough at some point. We played it on Mr. Game and Beard, but I just want to play it again, so I figured I would do it, you know, on this channel by myself. And when I do, um, I'll probably play the 3DS version now that I got it working, because I think that's the best version of the game. I think a lot of people disagree, but I think a lot of the problems people have with it, myself included, are that you have to play it on a 3DS, so it does cramp your hands. But if I can emulate it on my computer instead, then... I mean, it's the definitive version, because you get to play it with a controller, and, um, I mean, it looks, I wouldn't say better than the GameCube version, graphically, it's probably about the same, maybe a little worse, but, um, they added a lot to it, like, I always thought it was really fun trying to get all the gold frames, 
and they added platinum frames. So there's even more replayability. You can just go right to the boss. Um, like you can just uh, refight all the portrait bosses instead of um, having to play the whole game over again to replay them. Um, it's really cool. So I really like that version of the game. I think it really got slept on because not many people played it. Um, because it was released so late in the 3DS life cycle, most people were just kind of annoyed that it wasn't coming out on the Switch. Which is understandable. I would have preferred to have it on the Switch too. But, you know, they probably already had the framework from Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon to work with, so it was just easier to put it on the 3DS. That's what I imagine anyway. Um, once he runs out of Tri Attack, I'm probably going to switch into Steady and get him a few levels. He's really progressing nicely. Like, we're really on a roll now. Um, we should um, be able to take out Erica pretty easily at this rate. Especially if Drowsy evolves. Which I think he does at 26. Cause um, I think all of her grass type Pokemon also have poison types. Poison typing. Um, with the exception of Tangela. So. Yeah, he should be able to take care of most of them. Really, her only bad one is Bioplume. Um, if I remember correctly. It's hard for me to remember exactly what Pokemon she has because she has a lot of different teams. Like, you have the original red and blue team, you have her yellow team, you have her Fire Red and Leaf Green team, you have her Pokemon Let's Go team, you have her Gold and Silver team, and you have her Heart Gold and Soul Silver team. So, like, all these, and that goes for all of the Kanto trainers. So, they've, they've all had a lot of iterations at this point. Um, is there nowhere else to go in here? Really? I swear that you get the key in this room. Take the elevator. Okay. I thought this guy dropped it, but I guess not. I mean, can I just take the elevator now? I don't think so. Yeah, it needs a key. Alright, maybe I just jumped the gun going this way. And you have to go um, down more. First. Better not touch it. Uh, let's see. A rare candy? Cool. Um... Everyone's got decent experience right now, so I'll wait till somebody levels up to give that to them. Um, let's go this way. We can fight this guy. I should have switched out the steady. That's okay. One more try attack, so I'll use fly. Ooh, yikes. He's actually doing a bit of damage. So I'm gonna wanna switch him out. So Fred's finally caught up to Polly's level. Eradicate bothers using scary face and Radicate's already so fast. It's 
It's much easier to take them out now that we got Brick Break. I wish there was room for Hitmonlee on this team. Like, I do want to use Hitmonlee, but... I mean, there's just really not. Like, there's nobody I'd rather... There's nobody I want to get rid of. Same with Lapras. I would love to use Lapras, but there's just nobody I really want to get rid of. So we got our first level 30. I think that increases dark type moves. So do I need to go over there? Yeah, I think I skipped that part on accident, so we'll go back there. Um, but I'm going to do that next time, because we're out of time for today. So I'll go down here, and then we'll proceed up to Giovanni. And we should have time to also go fight Erica. So after that, we'll be going to the Pokemon Tower. Lots of exciting things coming up. We'll have a rival battle in there. That could all be next time. None of it's going to take too long. So hope you guys will join me for that one. Hope you guys are enjoying this series. Let me know what you think about it. And have a great day. Bye.